All right, I'm going to work on the, uh, the Roman nose, Henry Roman nose. And uh, today I'm going to just fill in the uh, back area. I got to cover up this uh, foam because if I don't, little granules of that foam will get into the clay and it's not good. So there's not much going to be going on today, I don't think. I'm going to go as far as I can and get as much as I've done, uh, get as much done as I can. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. I went online and got some more photographs of Chief Henry Roman nose. This one shows a different cut hair and uh, feather arrangement. And also, I like the beaded uh, shirt he's got on this leather hair shirt. It's hard to see because the pictures are so bad. but uh, And it was taken from a distance. And I had to blow it up and the picture was a small picture. Anyway, you can see the hair fringe just lightly on his shirt. Uh, the heaviest thing on his shirt is his beadwork. Uh, that's Southern Cheyenne uh, Indian. Um, I ran it both uh, with the picture lightened and the picture darkened so I could see different kind of details at different uh, shades. <clears throat> I did the same thing with uh, his face. Different density uh, of the picture and um, it, each one shows me something a little different uh, his hair was behind his ears so I'm going to change that and here's another picture of uh, Mr. Roman nose so I got to decide what to put on him as far as clothing goes I don't know and I'd like to do this uh, bead sash but uh, i got to figure out how to do that. I went online and tried to find beads that uh, were strung that would be about the size that I'd need for this uh, size piece. And I couldn't find anything on Amazon. Everything was wedding beans. Wedding beads. <laughs> All right, I've... Uh, Got my clay under the light really close so that I can almost have it melted. And I'm just going to, it just helps to spread it on a little faster, that's all. I won't have this last very long, so I'm going to do the best I can with what I got. That was by putting it real close to the light I use. I use a 100 watt bulb. The reason I did the uh, melted clay is because I figured it just covers a bigger area faster that way. Instead of me putting it on by hand, fingers, and uh, a little bit at a time. All right, now I'm just using a wire tool to put some texture in, give it a sculptural quality. By putting the clay on while it's nearly melted helped save me a lot of clay. If I was to put it on normal, like it would have been very expensive and made the piece very heavy.
Well, I don't have any more clay to work with right now. I've got to soften up a bunch of clay for no next week. Um, I know there's not much. And I didn't get as far as I wanted to go, but I thought I had more clay than that. But it's pretty much run out. So I'll uh, see you guys next week. Uh, sometime next week, I may have to run up to the foundry again to pick up two of the clays that I lost, left up there for bids. And uh, so we'll wait and see what happens on that. I'm going to try to uh, do some justice to this gentleman, this uh, Cheyenne warrior from um, the south part of the country, southwest part. He, uh, I guess he lived a lot of his life in uh, Kansas, on the Kansas Plains. Um, anyway, I'm just going to have to call it quits because the... Uh, Clay ran out, and I got to get some more clay softened up. Um, I this is the only part that I didn't get was down here. The clay I've got now, which is not very much, is old clay that uh, wasn't the same type of clay that I've been using now, and it's a little more lumpy and harder. It's a different. Uh, it's not medium clay. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm sorry it's not much, but uh, sometimes it ain't. <laughs> All right, see you next week. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.